I clicked the wrong, uh, wrong game mode. That's cool. Anyways, hi everyone, I hope you're all, uh, doing, doing okay. And, uh, I know it's, it's been a hot minute and since I've, uh, been around, I've, uh, I've been out doing stuff. And, yeah, so I've, I've been kind of busy and I wanted to try and get this video out and I wanted to try and do something different as I <laughs> try to get this video out, but I'm terrible at Minecraft PvP, so <laughs> as, as as can clearly be seen. Um, I wanted to talk about a kind of difficult topic today. I hope my mic's doing okay. My mic's been kind of awful lately. Um, I, man, I'm having a hard time with the topic today, but um, I wanted to to talk about loss. Um, I don't know if I can say that it's loss in general. Uh, it's definitely loss of life, I guess. Loss of someone close to you or even um, someone who maybe is important to you or you just grew up around. You know, sometimes in school... Uh, People you know in your classes, unfortunately, can things can happen, and that can make it hard. Uh, for some people, I, I was never someone who got too affected uh, by someone that I didn't really know that well, um, or didn't have any kind of personal attachment to. That wasn't something I, I struggled with too much. But it can still happen. Um, but, uh, well, I should also mention that <laughs> really when I say that I don't know that much, I really didn't know them outside of the fact that they existed when, when stuff like that would happen. But sometimes, you know, someone who you don't know can st or don't know personally for sure can still have pretty big influence on you. Um, you know, maybe they're just on your team. Maybe you play a sport, they're on your team. Yeah, you don't you don't really know them. You maybe interacted or at the very least seen each other. Maybe you've never even spoken, but you you work together in a way. Uh, and things can happen. And you know, maybe a car crash, whatever it might be, and you you lose that person. And there's a feeling to that loss which is confusing. I mean. Yes, you can just say, oh, you're just obviously upset because it's loss of human life. That's, I mean, that just makes sense. You know, that, that, that's a logical kind of feeling to experience. Um, but I don't know that that's always exactly what's happening. Um, sometimes it might be something a little more complicated than that. Oh, I'm so, <laughs> so, so dead. Because um, a lot of times, the the reason that it hits you so hard is that that position, that influence that that person had in the world. Um, and it's not that the loss of life isn't important, but it's that that person was also achieving something which was particularly important to you. Um, And influ I mean, I'm gonna be repeating myself. This I really shouldn't. I should have just written this today's topic out. Uh, it would have been better than not doing that. I can't click this fast. <gasps> no, come on. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> um. All right, heartbeat is probably going up, but th the weird thing about this is I think when we lose someone, and we lose someone close to us or important to us, is there's also a degree of responsibility that comes from that. Because when someone in this world passes, they were doing something in this world which is no longer being fulfilled. Sometimes that's on a large scale, sometimes that's on a small scale. 
And that thing can be really important. Really... <sighs> to some people, maybe less important, and to others, more important. And... Alright, he's he's over there now. <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. And I think to some extent, when it comes to trying to... I don't know, reconcile to accept the passing of that person, part of what makes it hard is that is that the thing that they were doing, it hurts to lose it. It hurts to lose, you know, the person who always made, if you played on a team or you had a friend, it's like maybe they're the ones who always made the jokes. They were the ones who were funny. They kept everyone in a good mood. Uh, they were important for those reasons. And it's hard to like reconcile that that's gone that you're not gonna have those jokes there anymore and that kind of sounds terrible because it sounds like it's not their life but in some ways it's I, i'd say that's not i'd say that that is probably the most res maybe th that's almost what we can all hope hope for is that there is something that we were doing that if we're gone the loss of that thing hurts everyone else i mean not like you don't want it to literally hurt everyone else because you just don't want them to lose that thing in the first place but you want to be offering something that is so important or so influential that what is what is happening <laughs> that everyone it almost feels irreplaceable, and in many ways it will be basically irreplaceable. That's just the way it's going to be. What? Was that Christmas music? I think it was. Um, and I think, and though I'm not sure, I think maybe sometimes the way to reconcile this is to try and pick up wherever that person left off. I mean... Maybe you can't literally do that, right? Like, the example I thought of uh, was... I don't know if my viewers are big movie people, but Quentin Tarantino, great movie. He makes wonderful movies. I love his movies. They're some of my favorite movies. And I know if I heard that Quentin Tarantino died in a car crash or something, that, like... Beyond just thinking that that's sad, I'd also come to the realizations that I'm never going to get to enjoy one of his movies again. Like that his movies in particular are gone, and that hurts. Like the idea that I don't have the Tarantino films would hurt just as much, in some ways if not more, than... Um... What kind of sword did I just pick up? Hey, man, that's kind of rude, you know? Well, he's dead. I can't tell what's happening. I have no healing. This is not ideal um and if that were to happen like i obviously couldn't really just like you know start become a movie developer and start making those films like i don't have that skill i don't have that ability um but maybe if i was already a movie developer to try and make something to try and do something for the same audience that he would reach to try and make that same art that he made that could be important it's cuz i mean it's 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 a hard thing to say you cannot replace someone once they're gone that's just not how it works um but you can hope that maybe someone 
somewhere down the line can achieve what you think they were achieving. And maybe that's not you, but you can at least pick up some small part of it. Maybe they're... Maybe they were one of the biggest... I don't know. Um, they were a big... Mm, I can't even remember the English word for it. Proponent for change uh, with, I don't know, like climate. I'm, I'm just saying an example. Don't think too hard into what your political affiliations are. All right. You know what? They're a big proponent of, you know, healthy puppies. Okay. If you disagree with all puppies being healthy, you know what? I don't, you and I probably can't have a good conversation, but let's just say they were, that's what they were proponent of. Maybe you can't become the biggest proponent for that. Proponent, right? Am I saying that right? I, I don't want to be saying opponent, so proponent. Look, I, I'm going to say something dumb, I'm sure. But you can do a little, right? Maybe you can't, you know, get thousands of people to work on helping the puppies but maybe you can help one puppy. And if you can help one puppy simply by their influence, like you're kind of carrying on the uh, their, their legend or idea or all the things that they achieved. I, you know what? Using a knockback sword is just kind of dirty. He's alive! Oh, he's not alive. What? I thought he was. Okay. <laughs> I'm disappointed. Right? Because, I mean, most people here might have an idea of what I'm actually talking about. Um, loss that's kind of hit me harder than I expected, because I don't normally get too affected by, um, what, what are you doing over there? Hey, buddy. Hello. Hello. <laughs> um because it's it's hard you know it's it's hard to think about some things being gone and it's it feels like there's an emptiness in the world when you lose something and there are two parts to that emptiness there is the knowledge that that person can never come back and then there's the part that what they were achieving is gone what they were doing there's a spot in the world and that spot can be filled um, and sometimes it can't be filled by one person the same way they were doing it but it can be achieved by a collective um, or a few individuals with you know enough <laughs> with enough I don't know fortitude to try <laughs> I know I'm I'm talking slow I'm breaking up my sentences I can't even remember where I wanted this to go um, I think I think the moral of what I'm trying to say is that when we lose something sometimes you need to look at the loss that the world has taken and pick up the sword and carry on the fight you know like there there's something that was being done that is now lost and uh this man's kind of suspicious i'm not gonna lie
Okay. I only have one arrow left now. That's nice, but I guess I can go take his stuff. Um, and that might help you with that loss. I can't guarantee it will. I've not experienced enough loss, and I usually have a hard time picking myself up by the bootstraps and doing whatever I think needs to be done. Um, I mean, heck, I've been wanting to do this video for about a week now. I wasn't able to do it for a little while because I didn't have my computer around to do it. But I wanted to get it done. I just wasn't able to get myself to get it done. And that's, you know, my own fault. I wasn't, I wasn't doing what I needed to do. Where'd this guy go? Oh, there he is. Hello. I sure do like fighting with a, uh... Uh, fighting with the knockback stick, it is kind of nice. Come back here. <laughs> Not done with you yet. Okay, this is, you know, I'm really having to think about this fight here, but <laughs> barely got away with that one. So, I don't know. You guys can, I guess, tell me what you think. I know I've, this is dragged on uh, for a little while. Uh, I'm going to try and do something, you know, check in the, I don't know if it'll be in the description or to the side, but, you know, sometimes we, we just don't do a lot for other people. We don't do a lot for the world. We don't do simple things and simple things can just be a couple of people coming together one dollar each and helping some cause it's simple you don't have to think most people have a dollar admittedly plenty of you might be kids who don't have a credit card but you know what your parents do just tell your parents like hey i want to donate one dollar to a given cause and and go and do it try and do it try and try and be the difference that maybe someone else used to be and maybe you can help out the world carry on the fight and maybe in the future you know we won't have to lose some people who really helped out anyways that is it for tonight i hope you all have a wonderful day night evening afternoon morning whatever the time of day it might be for you have a good one adios